Hello, fellow humans, dogs, and any other species watching. We're back with the final episode of Burgesson, episode eight, titled After the Rain. You know what comes after the rain, don't you? The rainbow. Last week's episode, we had Eloise still hot on the trail of Lady Whistle Down. I think she knows who it is. And at the end of this episode, I hope to know who it is, okay? I want to know. They've been leading me along. They've been dragging this out. Just tell me who it is. And if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you want to stick around, hopefully you will. After this series, Bridgerton has come to a close. Um, then be sure to subscribe for more content from me. We're not slowing down just because Bridgerton is over. And it's not even over, it's in another season. So maybe I'll see you in that one, okay? Yes. Enjoy the video and I hope to see you at the end and in future videos. The fastest courtship upon record occurred when Miss Mary Leopold secured a betrothal just four and a half minutes. Whoa. You know you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody in four and a half minutes? This was some faded mates werewolf stuff. This is some Jacob fell in love with a child stuff. Would leave London mere hours after their wedding. Reason? Unknown. Unknown. They left. She was already pregnant. One can never know the truth of a marriage hiding behind closed doors. Ooh, she hit him with the separate bedroom. She pulled that Daphne Burgesson move. This is their secret trap card. I guess it's the, this is before people started making people sleep on the couch. They're like, you, I'm mad, but you still have a bed. Now people ruthless sleep on the couch. Or indignity. Bro, the king is freaking out always. What is wrong with that man? He's, leave me alone, leave me alone. Like, boy, I would karate chop you in the head. See, the rarest accomplishment of all, a true love match. She wake up to her empty pillow. So wait the eager matches of the season Are they of so serious with this? Are they so serious with this freaking pose? Is that how people stood back in the day? I feel like they were definitely closer. He's like, girl, you stink. How disrespectful. That's the worst wedding picture. Don't you both move a bit closer as well? See? What did I say? Now that we know I'm not with child, we should depart London at the end of the season with the rest of the ton as planned. This time next week, our ruse will be well and truly over. This is horrible. Like, dang, they're like truly getting a divorce. They weren't even married for like, probably maybe a month. I feel like it was probably like that montage felt kind of long of them banging in every, every place they could. And now it's over just like that. But perhaps his grace might place his hand on the duchess's shoulder so that you both can look as happy as you surely must be. Oh no, he touched me. All those moments are rushing back. Us on the stairs, us in the yard, us on the ladder, our first night. <laughs> now they My just word. stand at each other. The very picture of devotion. The very picture of devotion. Ooh. Just admit it, y'all still love each other. We don't gotta get a divorce. We don't. It don't gotta be all that. Aunt Winnie has sent word. Francesca will be arriving home tomorrow. How exciting! Perhaps she can tell us of time well spent far from London. Oh, she's perfectly what you fine. Said you must rest. I'm already feeling much improved. I assure you, I am well. You're well? You're well? You call this well? You literally, the other night, just tried to poison yourself. You were face down, sister, on a carpet. On the carpet. That's your lowest low. You're not well, I assure you. T has accomplished what I needed it to. You are no longer with child. I would have felt something by now. But I am sorry for mm. everything I've done and said. So I thought she was trying to kill herself. I was I was I was like, is she trying to kill herself and the baby or just her baby? And she was just trying to kill the baby. She didn't she said it's the end of the road for you, baby boy. Ugh. Are you quite well? Is that him? It's Sir George. The Duke and I are going our separate ways. I know I do not always say the right things. And she said, I know my advice is trash, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Those dogs never got a divorce. I'll tell you that. They had those puppies and everything was well. They looked happy every after. And if the dogs can do it, you can too. However difficult, forgiving someone may be, it is necessary. The Duke is choosing to nurture some Grudge. However, am I supposed to forgive that? We are never, ever, ever getting back 
together. And ladies will have to hear about the wondrous festivities the next day, seeing how they did not receive an invitation. Girl, you're not invited because you tried to entrap my son. Explain to your young ladies, Lady Featherington, how they ended up in such an unfortunate situation Ooh. and who exactly put them there. Oh, she said, I don't feel a thing. I don't feel sorry for you. You dug this grave. Now I'm going to pile the dirt back in there. You made this bed, now lay in it. You thought you were scheming. You thought you were smarter than everyone, and you're not. We can make room, as I am sure all of us would like to forgive the errors of the past and move forward. Wow, Daphne, did you ask Colin? Not that you need his permission, but that you should be thoughtful of his feelings. And well, Miss Thompson has not received any correspondence from you in quite some time. It is not George, but his brother, Sir Philip. I have come. Tell me George is dead. Say it to me right now. Tell me George is dead. I'm fine. I can handle it. I'm strong enough for this. I'm bearing grim news today. My brother George died on the battlefield. I can't handle it. I can't handle this, bro. Are you telling me? There is no happily ever after for Marina. Man was dead the whole time. Y'all was just leading me on. Dragging me along, got my hopes up for what? He was writing to me, to tell me he loved me, to tell me we could run away together and marry. Now she don't have George or the baby. What was the purpose? Why, like, what was the po point? What was the reason? Why would you do this to me? Why would you bring this depression into my life? This is depressing. I'm depressed. Sir Philip found this half-written letter amongst George's belongings. If it were not for your recent inquiries, Sir Philip never would have known I was here. He loved me. He did, Marina. I guess that's some comfort. Is my heart still crying? Yes. Do I feel like crying? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. My eyes might sweat a little. He had a perfectly reasonable explanation for not writing back to me, and I was wrong. How I wish the author would write something flattering about them. Perhaps she will. Angering loyal customers is not good. Is she trying to say that? She did that the seamstress's bloody whistle down. She would be privy to all the gossip by, you know, get, making that dress for the higher class ladies of society, as they put it. But, um, I don't think so, no. I have heard people say men, such as my brother, if you will, can withstand gossip. I'm not always so sure. I have no intention of compromising anyone. Because the queen is enraged, so whoever whistle down is should be careful. I believe whistle down is smart enough to take care of herself. Why is she standing like that? It is not you. Stop trying to stop trying to lead us astray. Don't try don't try to throw us off the scent. It's not you. Stop it. Y'all can't convince me that this is her. I don't know who it is, but I know who it ain't. And it ain't you, girl. I didn't know that you could get divorced in 1813. They talking about going their separate way. That's the thing you can do? What did your father do? Real talk. To make you take that vow in the first place. We do not need to have this conversation. I, I am doing this. For your own good. I can decide for myself. You'll be better off is... without me. Oof. Will your dad tears your self worth down to zero? To zilch to nil? I don't even think it's about like at this point, spiting the dad still. I think at this point it's about him not feeling good enough. Right? This episode is hitting hard. I didn't expect for them to be coming for my feelings like this. Alright, Will. I'm counting on you, man. Do not go this fight. Do it for me. Do it for what is your kid? Do it for your honor, okay? Honor can't be bought. You told me this. You taught me this. I knew this, but you taught me this again. Do not take this tumble. Lord Featherington is going to be broke, broke for the rest of his life with these bets, but... To continue living fight to fight. We should be planning for our future, Alice. I cannot fight forever. Perhaps I lose. Perhaps that purse will be enough to keep us happy. Why did you want us here? I want to place a sizable wager on this match, and I'm told you two can manage serious transactions. Lord Featherington, please pull yourself together. Please! Gambling is not going to get you out of this. He thought he would come talk to him like trash, and that he would throw his fight for him to make a buck. Not everybody is you, bro man. My money's on the beast. With Mondrich heavily favored. Take my money! You can take the deed to my house. The deed to your house? Use it's yours. You're going to be homeless, my man. Y'all gonna be eating out beans out of a can. Uncooked. No fire to warm the hands. Why are you doing this? Like, don't you have a job? You can make money, right? It's not as if you needed me here to wish you luck. Throw hands, my man. 
Don't throw the fight, throw them hands. Put the paws on this man. Oh, oh, Simon peeped it. Simon knows what's going on. Don't let him do this. Don't do this. I would very much like to speak to Miss Thompson. I have a question for her. Marry you. What is going on? I don't understand. I'm so very confused. My brother impregnated you and died. So marry me. How did we get here? How did we get from point A to point B? I do not understand. After my brother clearly took liberties with your virtue, I would merely be doing my duty. I cannot. I do I... not know this man. Marina, I do smart. not love this man. Marina, you're a genius. Okay, you're not a genius, but follow your heart, man. Don't follow like, oh, I have to marry you now because my virtue is gone. Skip that. These men don't have no virtue, I'll tell you that much. George cared for you very much, Miss Thompson, and that will never change. But he would have wanted you to be looked after. All right, just give me, send me a check. I thank you for your offer, Sir Philip, but I believe you should now take your leave. Dang, she said, you ain't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. Get to stepping. Watch Lady Featherman should start talking trash right when he leaves the door. The door not even gonna be shut. They're not even gonna be out the house. She's gonna be like, why would you do that? What have you done? What have you done? I should have known. I am no longer with child, so it is neither necessary nor acceptable for me to participate in any more on one genuine schemes. Oh, put your foot down. You should have been. You should have knocked her out first episode. I'm not gonna block and block off. Look at her snooping. As always, yo, please. How she looks on 007 mission. What are these? Like, past love letters? Dang, you wanna let that? Do you wanna let that hit you in the face? My man gonna see stars. But why Lord Featherstrand didn't think to bet on him? All the fights he's won, everyone bets on him. So why would you then bet against him? And either get married or get out of my face. I truly do not care about y'all staring at each other anymore. Are y'all still invested in this relationship? At this point, let me know. It's just ridiculous. At this point, all we ever see them do is kiss and argue. Y'all in the back of the fight, getting naked. And for what? Take him out. Hit him with that throat punch. Ooh. Ooh. Dang. He said, renegade, renegade. Oh my gosh. Spun that man jaw. Andre, stop taking hits for no reason. Throw him. Are you so serious? If you don't get up right now, bro, hit, bro, what is this? See, that's not even believable. You gonna get your kneecaps broke and Lord Featherington's kneecaps broke. That was so unbelievable. He hit, he hit you three times, my man. You just said, get, get up. They know it. Look at the look in their eyes. They know it. Did you know about these letters? The ones that Duke seems to have written to his father as a boy. I did. He never ever, he never even opened them. I just realized she opened them. They still had like the stamp and stuff on it. That man, I just don't understand how you can be so wicked. How you can bring a child into this world and just toss him out like yesterday's trash. But Simon had trouble speaking as a child. What could you have done? He works so very hard to eliminate the difficulty. Clay, Duke never even deign to read them, huh? Bro, I'm trying not to cry this episode. Like, what is wrong with them? Why are they doing this to me? Why am I being personally attacked right now? What kind of father? One that not only expected, but demanded perfection in his son. Simon could not be any more different from a man such as that. Of course, we know that to be true, Your Grace. The Duke's triumph was his and his alone. Oh, she it said, had to be. list of things, he did that. He was victorious because he believed in himself and he worked towards it, you know? If you needed another investor or more money, Will, you could have come to me. But I do not need your charity. Charity? I believe in you. We're best friends. This is your best friend, I think. 
He would have helped you out, man. You took a tumble in front of everybody and for what? Money? Tell me, Your Grace, whatever could be more honorable besides taking care of one's family? Is that what you hope to tell Alice? I see where he's coming from, but still, it's wrong. You shouldn't have done this. You know you shouldn't have done this. That's why you had to talk yourself into it and you had to make these excuses up. If you gotta make up excuses to make yourself feel better about a situation, you already know it's wrong. We're gonna pass you by. Our problems are solved. And this is only half the winnings. I'm going to Bridgeton House this morning. Dear Francesca's returned from Bath. Would you care to join me? That is certainly what I'd like to see. <gasps> Sister! Francesca! <laughs> oh, so it was another child? I thought Francesca was like a family friend. It's been another sibling this whole time. We ain't never... Did y'all know? I guess it was a letter missing. From the, you know, the kids in alphabetical order? I... I have a friendship with Genevieve Delacroix. Good for you, brother. You deserve contentment. We all do. If the lady contributes to that, then I'm happy for you. Whoa. Understanding Anthony? I haven't seen that all season. Maybe like a warm little glimpse back before he lost his freaking mind and was trying to kill people. I finally found her. Lady Whistle Down. Who is she? She is Madame Delacroix. Madame Delacroix is her. Wrong. You're wrong. Unmarried. Earning our own money. Look, I'm happy you found her, Elle, but I do not think I can ever be like that. Would a pony do? I Your could not fathom. <laughs> you do realize it is only made of paper. Oh no, I would have never guessed it. That's paper. She's like, oh my god, he makes such a great dad. He could see he made a paper horse. Pony. Donishing Madame de la Croix. Well, yeah, because you were able to pay in advance this time. Mine's perfect. And mine is yellow. You see, young ladies, everything works out in the end. Mm. Oh. She said, if I gotta wear yellow one more time, I'm gonna scream. Oh, she feels a kid? I believe I need a doctor. Those who have been successful in the year's marriage market look forward to Oh flaw my gosh, he's so talented. It looks so beautiful. I can't even touch her. I'm touching this chair standing six feet apart. That COVID social distancing. That is so beautiful. You truly believed a tea would rectify the situation, man. I'm dead. As if that ever works. He has seen this one too many times. Man, it's fed up. He's like, girl, you thought that drinking you some Earl Grey was going... Handle your situation, no. Try chamomile next time. To those who may still find themselves out of both choices and hope, fear not. <laughs> she upset? I thought she would be happy that, you know, her love, the love of her life, I guess, or, well, her love of the time freaking died and she still got like a piece of him that they made together, you know? But is she now gonna marry the brother? That's the question. Completely this cops. <laughs> <laughs> I'd wait the both of you were. Oh, they're actually happy together for once instead of just arguing and making out every two seconds? <laughs> <laughs> At least not if I ever say it. <sighs> y'all love each other. I can be here for it if y'all love each other and y'all make each other happy. If y'all being toxic, I gotta go. Come with me. But right here, I'm here Tonight. for it. I can ship it. This is preposterous <laughs> and fantastical. I want you there by my side. Proclaim your love. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. Come with me. Come with me. Well, I think it wise for us to engage in three dances, would you say? Two. I mean, two dances at most. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. We're back to, see, we're back to like being able to easily laugh. Remember how he said when he's talking to the queen, like, between them talking was so easy it was so natural man they've been so depressing since they got married well since they got rid of this argument i've been depressed they've been depressed let's clear this up if anthony can do it y'all can do it i'll tell you that much one last dance it is hey y'all rich rich all y'all problems are solved oh she got such a pretty necklace because you fell on your face I mean, if y'all are happy, y'all have to get the, they better, you see how nice they look? They better be like Batman parents in the alley. For someone who hates ball gowns, you look exquisite in them. I suppose I should thank you for being so perfect, so I do not have to be. Thank you for allowing me to be myself. It's freaking beautiful. 
hate to sound like an old lady, but that's beautiful. Who's here? Yes, her love. Here, your husband secured himself a win the other day. Where is he? Still out celebrating. And one special in here for me, I presume. Only the best for you. Featherington. Join us. Is he about to get killed? I thought he was just about to get beat up. I owe you an apology. I did not see it at first, but I know you were only trying to prevent me from heartache with Miss Thompson. One finds oneself in such an incredible position and, well, one should declare it. Colin, I wish to tell you something. I have something I wish to tell you as well. I'm leaving. First thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> she, she was really about to be like, I love you. And he was like, I'm leaving. Like, in no way was I surprised. She's like, she was like building herself up. She was like, yes, it's time. You know, it's been years. Time to tell you how I feel. Why? <laughs> Why do they do this? You kept reminding me how much I longed for travel. Oh, um, what was it you wished to say? I don't remember. <clears throat> oh my gosh, Penelope, man. When can she catch a break? Oh, sometimes love is just not mutual, you know? It's unrequited. We shall unmask her this very night. Of course. Of course you shall. Of course you will. Of course you're going to. You know who it is. And they probably also... Well, actually, they're professionals. They might out-whistle down her. Mm. We worked out a whistle down delivers her missus to a printer's press in Lombard Street. She'll be seized there tonight. And he was all in. He came with the flowers. She said, skip the ball. I want you to come with the rules of society. Oh. Sienna, why? 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 Give me a moment, my love, and I shall return upstairs. Sienna. I thought you were gonna be happy. I thought this was happily ever after. I thought it was gonna be some Shrek and Fiona accidentally in love. I thought about coming with you tonight. I envisioned myself in your arm. Sienna, what are you doing? What am I doing? I am doing the very thing I have always done, ensuring my own future. I don't know if she's like, like she's saying, looking out for number one. I feel like it's also more like the Duke, like she just don't think that she's good enough. Y'all got me excited for what? You did this for what? But you did this for what? Why not? <laughs> Why? Why not? <laughs> Why though? I tried. What I know is that you are lost. Not allowing you to set me adrift as well. Dang. He was like, I don't know, man. This was his moment. Like his heart was out there, out in the open. He was, he was ready. He was like, skip society. He's like, my sister's a duchess. My, my brother-in-law's a duke. I'm a viscount. Let's make this happen. And she's just like, I can't rely on you. I guess the trust is broken one too many times. You need to let me go. I am comfortable. I am content. It's okay, man. You're gonna be all right. I think, I hope. Why? Why does this show do this? Why did they do this? Why did they put me through this? Like, I was already done with it. I was like, I was done with the relationship. I was not invested. I did not care. And then y'all reeled me back in. Hook, line, and sinker. To do this? Why? That gentleman upstairs, he sees me for who I am. He does not wish for me to change. This is you rough. Need to let me go. This is hard to go on the big screen. Let her You're go. Right. As James Bay, I believe, would say. I'm sorry, Sienna. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I have to witness this, man. There's tears. I feel like, I feel like, why did you do this to me? Why did you do this to each other? Anthony, find yourself. I swear, every time something happened to Anthony, like, he just like, my man starts spiraling. Oh! This is a trap! What do you think you're doing? That was horrific! I feel like a titan was running up to eat somebody. That was horrible, bro. He can't run up the shadows! No, sir! He was gonna kill her. I thought that that was gonna be like, I thought the, quarn the queen was going to like have her like taken in and beheaded before the people. She's going to have her killed in the alley. That is some some mob stuff, I would say. I thought you were someone else. Perhaps you might catch up with her. I presume your plans to separate from her grace have not yet changed. Not no, yet, girl. It will cost you everything and leave you with nothing. Must not allow it to happen to you too. 
Exactly. You love her. Do, don't do this. Don't do this, my man. And Daphne, she's trying to keep it together. Pave the way for your own happiness. I want to see it happen. Is it different for them, men, to know whether they are in love? Everything else seems different to them. We agreed to one dance tonight. I miss dancing with your father. The very last time I danced was with him. I suppose I miss everything about him, really. The two of you loved each other so very much. Yeah. It's not to say it was without its trials. We chose to love each other every single day. Exactly. It is a choice, dear. <laughs> Lady Bridges said, bring it back. Okay, she's making me mad a few times, but here we go. Here's some actual good advice. Y'all told each other that y'all loved each other, that y'all burned for each other, and then y'all get into one argument, a horrible argument at that. I won't say that it wasn't horrible, and now it's like, let's get a divorce. Just like that? I mean, like, no, y'all didn't put any work. Y'all didn't even try to reconcile. I may never be able to see your father again. I Knowing that the two of us made the choice to love, I cannot tell you how much peace and comfort that brings to me. I'm okay. I wish I could do this. You are a Bridget. There is nothing you cannot do. Oh, tell her. Own it, sister. Come on, bring it back. Go get your man. Let's do it. Let's waltz right back into this marriage. Right back into a loving marriage. I'm gonna tell you the truth, Chief. I hate this dance. It just looked dumb. Slow motion looked kind of cool. That's kind of rough. In real time, it's just so ugly. Look at that. Y'all love each other. The picture of devotion. What did my man say at the beginning? Y'all be so dumb to divorce. last time we were in the rain the rain is not always a bad thing sir <clears throat> here we go i'm oh, sorry feel the rain on your skin oh, <laughs> this evening is complete get out get out we're back in love <laughs> that's all that matters I know why you made that vow to your father. Just because something is not perfect does not make it any less worthy of love. Your father made you believe otherwise. That's what I'm saying. Skip him, man. Skip him. You gonna tell him that he not worthy of love? She said, well, guess what? I love you. What you gonna do about it? He made you believe that you needed to be without fault in order to be loved, but he was wrong. He was sick. I am tired of pretending I cannot continue acting as if I as if I do not love you. I love all of you. Okay, okay, it's her turn. It's her turn. Let her speak. No, let her speak. Okay, it's her turn. The Duke had his turn to declare his love in this beautiful speech. Daphne hit it. As Fairy Godmother would say. Hit it! Every scar. Every flaw. Every imperfection. I love you. Daphne, yes. Daphne, well said. It's so beautiful. You can choose to love me as much as I love you. Pick you, I choose you. That should not be up to anyone else. It can only be up to you. Well said. Do, you just gonna let her walk away, Simon? Don't let her walk away, Simon. That's the end of the scene right now? Okay. I thought, I thought it was gonna be like, ah, oh, come back. Don't leave me. I love you too. No. Whoa, why are there people in the house? You're saying he is dead. The Bow Street runners have questions. I told you. They killed him over the, like, I don't know what he thought was gonna happen. It was so obvious. You don't, you don't go on a, you don't lose so many times that you're completely broke. And then you give the last of your belongings in a bet and win. Like, it was so obvious that he fell for the count. They, they kept looking at each other. Like, nothing was covert. Nothing was like, and conspicuous, like they were making it so obvious, and now bro is dead? Can't say I'm surprised. They're back to being broke, and now he's dead. Are you, are you seeing what this means? <laughs> that is so, so very, very horrible. Like, is it worth killing him for? Like, and was it worth your life to do this scheme? Like, you didn't even think about the consequences. Like, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. 
I do not want to be alone. I know that now. Oh. Took you long enough to catch on, but I'll take it. What I do not know is how to be the man you need me to be. The man you truly deserve. You stay and we get through this. If you do this, if we do this, then... then nothing else will matter. On oh, period. He's like, I don't know how to be the man that you deserve, that you need. Like, you're already that man, obviously, if she's telling you that she loves you. Come on now. Get with the program. Here we go. I won't even get mad at that kissing. Y'all earned it. Y'all earned a kissing scene. Did y'all own a sex scene? Maybe not. Don't do all that. But y'all own a kissing scene. Well, y'all always in uh, back here. Is this is where we make a non spite baby. Is this a, a child born of love? Isn't she lovely? Made from love? I'll tell you right now, I'm not gonna watch this sex scene. Oh, look at that. They mutually agreed to have a child. That's how it should be. In summary, because I'm not even about to edit not one more sex scene. I'm so glad that y'all find a sex scene. So glad y'all back together. But here we go. They did it and they reached completion together. And our child shall come into this world, I believe. If there is to ever be a grander finish to a season than the one provided. A grander finish? I'm sorry. Are y'all catching what I'm put are y'all picking up what they put him down? A greater finish in a season. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. By the Duke and Duchess of Hastings this year, this author will need to feast upon her own words. Some endings seem more permanent than others. <laughs> See, it's just so horrible. They killed their dad off. I'm laughing, but it's terrible. I mean, what did they expect to happen? But yeah. I am here. Was she crying before? To help leave? you to find a reason every day. Share something good. What happened with Whistledown? Did you save Madame Delacroix? We still don't know who Whistledown is. Tell me what happened with her. She never even saw her. And I bet she still think that it's a Madame Delacroix. It is not. It is not. Indeed. And now she will be able to put right what she botched this season. I'm sure of it. What? How do they still have a house if they took all their money? How did you endure two and twenty years of marriage without love? You find things to love, my dear. You're strong, Miss Thompson. Perhaps even more so than me. I hope so. More so than you. Because, lady, you was falling apart. Like, not even, like, like you were just making the dumbest decisions. I don't know how strong I would consider you. You will do well. She gonna marry the brother. I already see it happening. I am not satisfied by this. I'll tell you that much, man. She's like, the one I love dies. So I'm just gonna marry his brother. Awesome. That is you so raggedy. That is so raggedy. I'll tell you that much. I'm so disappointed by this. The man who will inherit the Fabian Matin estate. Only. Look. Off we go. Look at them still married. Look at this sister we never knew about. Where did you come from? The two of you are now off to Cliveton, I presume. We have decided to stay in London a little longer. Take some time to enjoy ourselves. I'm sorry, are the farmers' rents still not triple? No, I'm kidding. They probably fixed that. Finding and promptly declaring my intentions to my new Viscountess. The Viscount is ready to find and declare his intentions. Ooh. He's ready to find his love. You're the missing piece I need, the song inside of me. I finally determined the difficulty, love itself. Removing it from more romantic relations will make me all the better for it. No. Anthony, no, okay. Mm. You're gonna find a lady who loves you. It's probably gonna be a Beauty and the Beast story because your personality will have to be, bro. You were with Madame Delacroix last night. No, please do not tell our sister that I left in the middle of the ball either. You mean that's not Lady Whistledown? I would have never guessed this. I would have never seen this coming. You gonna tell me that Lady De Whistledown was in one place and Madame Delacroix was in another? How could this be? If you were with Madame Delacroix last night, then she is not then. No ending in sight for this author, who recently became aware of a scheme to unmask her. Perhaps I will come forward one day. Who is it? Show me. Yours truly. Lady Whistledown. Penelope was? Penelope was Lady Whistledown. 
I guess it makes sense. What the frick? I just didn't see it coming. I, was this the most obvious choice and I was just dumb? I just thought she didn't have it in her. I'll tell you that much. I just truly did not think that she had it in her. She wrecked her whole family, bro. I, I thought she wouldn't, but she did. She did not care. Go ahead, then Penelope. Um, Penelope? Get you to push, your grace. Oh, Daphne, you're finally get your child. Do it. Push it real good. Oh, little oh, baby. Do you see the difference between the difference between his mom giving birth to him and her giving birth? The parallels, man. She was in there alone. No one saw her until the baby was out. Well, uh, except for the freaking dad standing over her yelling, Daphne, with her mom on one hand and her husband on the other all three crying all three joyous congratulations your graces it's a it's a girl a boy oh it's a boy i was wrong as always and they gave a, a birth to a boy when they first try Ooh. oh my gosh yeah that's so nice mm -hmm. oh that's so nice I'm not crying, y'all. That's so nice. You must think of the name. Let's begin with the letter A. Because <laughs> what they family did. We oh. do have family traditions, do we not? Okay, give me a second. Oh. Oh. We just didn't think it would happen. I mean, we thought it would happen. We hoped it would happen. Oh. I just love it when they overcome, you know, every obstacle. Freaking dad who didn't love you make you feel like trash make you feel like you weren't worthy of love freaking scandals all that oh i love that for them i'm just beside myself <laughs> uh. i dare y'all name him something stupid like avocado it's not 2021 they're not dumb yet i'm sorry but they're gonna name him something oh just the name Penelope was Lady Whistledown. Didn't see it coming. It's the fact, why was Penelope? Okay, I'm thinking that the queen, I thought that Lady Whistledown was like an older lady who had a grudge against the queen. Like, why was she dragging that lady? Like, she was just like, like I don't even know. I thought she had a beef with her. I thought she personally knew her or something. And then she like, she was dragging Daphne. She was dragging Simon. She was dragging, she dragged her own family. I just don't get it. It's, I just don't get it. Very last person I would have guessed. I'm telling you that right now. Simon and Daphne, I'm so, I'm glad they worked out their freaking differences. That's, that was beautiful. They had me going in the first half, I'll tell you that. Like, I was, I was roughing it. I thought that, I don't know. I thought like it was gonna be a happy ending cause like what story doesn't have a happy ending but like just like the way that they were getting to it was just like so drawn out. And it was just, it, it just seemed for a second that we were like not getting back to what we need to be, you know? They had a cute little baby at the end. That is beautiful. Um, Marina's ending, I was so upset, man. I, I don't know, I guess maybe she didn't get a happy ending because I don't know why they didn't give her like a happy ending. Penelope never got Colin, which was not even surprising. I don't know why she was still gonna declare her love and he obviously was not returning it. It was like one-sided, so sorry. Oh my gosh, Anthony, man. He he was doing the thing this episode, if you ask me. I told him, all I asked him to do was to love that lady, was to to be all in, to want to marry her, man. And he, he, he was there, man. He was trying to put his heart on the line. He did put his heart on the line. He was just too late, I guess. She just didn't trust him at that point. But overall, this series, man, it was special and I'm glad that you guys got to share it with me. I'm glad that you guys got to stick around through this whole season if you did, or even if this is your first episode that you watched, the very last episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that, I don't know, that you were on the edge of your seat like I was. I was, they were stringing me, stringing me along the whole time. Like who's Lady Whistle Down? Who will end up together? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a like, you know. Let me know what you like to see what you would like to see more of. So if you'd like to see more content from me, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me, 
how did you like the ending? Honestly, I would say certain parts I very much enjoyed and certain parts I was like, this is rough. You guys are playing with my emotions and I don't appreciate it. Okay, I'm taking it personally. <laughs> um, share, share this video with all your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this series with me and I, I enjoyed your comments and I enjoyed you guys being here. I'm gonna see you next week.